Welcome to episode 196. This week we show you how we fix our rusty anchor chain. At the moment, um, the anchor chain is really rusty. You can see it's leaving bleed marks all down the boat. It's time to be done. That's it, chains are on its way to get regalvanized with steel way. So here we are in Penang. We're tied up to the dock in uh, Straits Keys Marina. The main reason we've come to Penang is to get our anchor and anchor chain regalvanized. And the guy we've been in contact with, he's coming tomorrow to pick it up. So now we've got to get our anchor out of the anchor locker. So let's go do that now. We're going to get our chain out and put it on the dock and the guy's going to come and uh, collect it tomorrow. Bring it back to us in sometime up to a week, I think. Double galvanised, double dipped. We'll be on our way again. Let's go. At the moment, um, the anchor chain is really rusty. It's been like five years now um, and it was a used chain at that time too. You can see it's leaving bleed marks all down the boat. It's time to be done. Uh, the windlass too operating the up and down it's getting real clunky and the chains all sticking together rust flakes going all over the boat just making a big mess so yeah it's time to do it let's do it and this is clean we cleaned that rust <laughs> we cleaned that off what two days ago yep it's yeah bleeding again bleeding again so so having the apprentice fly the drone today we won't tell him on camera what's going to happen if he puts it in the water. But we'll give you an idea, like there'll be an extra bit of space on the boat. He uh, forgets who put the last one in the water, doesn't he? No, he's a good flyer. No pressure. Taj is actually really good at flying the drone, so no worries at all. Okay, so it's 10 mil chain. It's exactly 10 mil. So I'm going to see if there's what sort of thickness in the coating when we get it back. So um, yeah, I'm just going to go over the chain now and just check the wear on it and make sure nothing's cracked and pretty much a bit of a tedious job. But I'm going to check the whole thing out and um, just remove all the tags and the um, little depth guides we've got in there so nothing gets galled accidentally. And um, I've got a new shackle, it's, it's pretty good that one anyway, but 
I'm just going to replace it anyway. Um, a lot of people put a swivel on here. I just think it's an extra thing to go wrong. We've um, met cruisers along the way. I don't know what, not much about them, but I know there's certain brands that do fail. Um, I, we're generally on anchor and off anchor pretty quick, so I don't feel the need to um, put a swivel on. I know if your boat's constantly turning, you get anchor twist, but I'd just rather have one less thing to fail because it's, it's the sort of thing you really want to depend on. Anyway, we'll have a look when we get it back and see if the chain's slightly thicker with the gal and see what sort of thickness the, the gal comes out of. Lee checked the chain and removed all of the old depth measuring tags. So the guy's coming to pick up our anchor chain right now. See you Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. That's it. Chain's uh, on its way to get regalvanized with steel way. And uh, should be Saturday. So what's that? Day is it? Tuesday? Thursday? Oh, Thursday. 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 Three days. Three day turnaround. Yeah. That should be good. Double dipped. And uh, shouldn't be any more of this. <laughs> Look how clean the bow is now. It wasn't repainted guys, it was just cleaned by the captain, the master of cleaning. It's a bit of elbow grease. Anchor locker was cleaned and the bow was scrubbed, ready for our chain and anchor to return. Our chain's arrived, it's taken about five days. It was really rusty, it was supposed to come on Saturday but they um, told us it was super rusty and they had to soak longer. So they've clearly done a really good job but yeah, it's here and um let's go see what it looks like oh it's so shiny oh my gosh That's not too bad. Better than that. Uh, yeah, better than it was. Better than buying a new one. Yeah, and better than it was. Yeah. The chain was laid out in the dock in lengths of 10 metres, so we can mark the chain every 10 metres. After the 10 metre marks were spray painted, the chain was put back away in its locker. shackle that doesn't fit it's too big and I don't really want to put our old one back on <laughs> oh, it looks fine she'll be right why didn't you get that one yeah. she left it on there and got it gouged no we'll get a new one in town tomorrow beautiful it's just one thing out of place <laughs> We'll replace it. So where the chain rubs, Lee's going to fix that up. 
some stainless steel, I think. Alright guys, so we just measured the chain. It's probably got a, say, a quarter of a mil thicker. So there's definitely a coating on there. You're in Malaysia, definitely come to Penang and get your chain regalvanized or hot dipped. I don't know what the correct terminology is for it, but it's definitely really easy. Pull into the Key Straits Marina, drop your uh, anchor and chain on the dock. They'll come pick it up three days later. Most cases you'll have it back. Us, our chain was in pretty poor condition, so they needed to keep the chain for an extra day. But if your chain's not too bad. It costs um, us about 1,400 ringgit, which is about 450 Australian dollars. And um, yeah, we, we're stoked. The chain looked terrible. Ideally, you'd do it earlier than we did. <laughs> but it's, um, we're really happy. Just gonna cover that up. Our anchor chain's been rubbing through this timber bollard. So seal that up and stick that on there and hopefully it won't rub through any longer. That's it, you guys. Um, that was our experience with regalvanizing, hot dipping our anchor chain in our anchor. We're stoked with the result. Oh, look, yeah. at the end of the day, if you don't have a spare, uh, well, for us, it was near $3,000 to get a um, full length of chain. So if that's not an option for you guys, 450 Australian dollars does the whole kit caboodle here. There is some slight variations. You can um, choose to get your um, chain double dipped, which we chose. So we will also keep you up to date on how it actually wears and, and goes because a lot of people were interested in, in the results of, of yeah. how it turns out. So we'll let you know what it looks like in a couple of months, three months, six months, a year. Stick around. I'm sure there's something really interesting coming up next episode. <laughs> Guys, you can comment now, which is super exciting. And I really hope they haven't disappeared again because that happens. We get our comments back and then they disappear. But if the comments are still there, say hi. If you want to ask us any questions about it, comment down below, because you can. Hey Leah, guys. Leah answer all your questions. Every one of them. <laughs> Very nice, sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> all right, love you guys. Peace. See you next time. See ya. Bye.